Hi, welcome to a TV5 sheet metal video tutorial. I want to do this simple exercise that sheet metal bracket now in Cartier V5. So let's have some fun and let's begin. So before you can start with the sheet metal, take note all the symbols are not active. So you have to click on that symbol which are the sheet metal parameters and change them and confirm or just confirm them. Anyway, I confirm them and then all the commands are active. Okay, I want to do an extrusion, so I go for a sketch on that plane. Hide these elements as usual. And let's draw a profile which looks something like this. Okay, give it some dimensions. And of course I don't want these constraints, the H and V constraints, so I will delete them. And these are the ones. Now some constraints and dimensions. And this should be 120. That distance should be 60. That the radius should be 20. And again, it's the same as in all the other sheet metal environments in the other programs. You have only to do the radius which is not the same as the standard bend radius, which was 4 millimeters. And this distance should be 50. That point should be aligned with this axis, that line with that axis. this one with that one and there should be a 90 degree and there as well and leave the sketch now you can make an extrude with that sketch make it mirrored 15 to both sides which means altogether it's 30 and then go for the middle position of the sketch which means there's one millimeter to this side of the sketch and one millimeter to the other side of the sketch and confirm. Now I have to extend it right here and over there and there are two possible solutions for this. I will go for first for this one. I need a sketch right on that face. Hide these. And I could project this edge and set the point right on the middle of this edge okay and make this for construction only okay then i need a rectangle this should be not for construction and i don't want these constraints so the points, of course, should be for construction. And go for these constraints. Delete them. Now this should be 10. This should be 25 and I need a point on the midpoint yes and then I could make a constraint between this point and that point and this should be coincident so 
So that's not easy constraint. Let's take a look. See, I need a 90 degree angle right here. So oh, that's crazy. Why it doesn't work? Yeah, it worked. Sorry. And these two should be, of course, coincident. Okay. Leave the sketch. And then you can go for a wall. Change the direction, inward material side. And make this tangent to that surface. And confirm. Now I need a wall on edge. Right here. Let's check it out. You have to invert the material side, so it's inside the material. 90 degrees is, is okay, and the height should be mm, not 90 but 70. Okay, again another wall on edge right here. Now it's invert material side inside the material, and this should be 20 millimeters. And okay. Now let's add some material on the other side. So go for another sketch. Hide these elements as usual, and I need another rectangle. And I don't want these constraints, so just delete them. Okay, again I will project the edge. Make it for construction only. Okay. Then I need a point right there at the middle. Okay. Another point right there in the middle. There it is make these two points coincident this line and that projected line coincident give them some dimensions this should be 25 That's really amazing. And then this should be a distance as well. <laughs> that should be 10. And there should be one 90 degree angle at least. And leave the sketch. Now let's make with the sketch another wall. Invert the material side. Confirm. Then I need a wall on edge. Right here. Invert material side. And this should be 10. Okay. Now the campers. So go for that one. It should be 2 with millimeters with 45 degree angle. This one, that one, take care. You can select by accident the wrong edges as well. And right down there as well. And that's okay. And I'm done with the model. Now if you want to have an unfolded view or unfolded model, the base wall is this one. So this will be kept and all others will be unfolded. And the unfolded 
view is over here, fold unfold. So I think I missed here something and I don't know what, I didn't make it tangent. So go for this wall too and make it of course tangent to that surface and confirm. And now go again for the unfolded view and it's unfolded completely. So if you want to see more sheet metal, give it a like down below, leave a, <laughs> leave a nice comment. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you to the next one. Bye bye.